Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Techs here. Today we're going to be looking at this. It's an Urban Solar Power Bank 10,000 from Sandberg. So basically, it'll allow you to charge your phone when you're out and about, and it charges itself back up using the power of the sun. <music> Okay, today we're looking at the Sandberg Urban Solar Power Bank 10,000. It's got a recommended retail price of roughly £48.99, so that's not too bad. The 10,000 basically stands for how many milliamps it actually holds, as in how much charge the battery holds. If you're not sure what that means, it's basically if you've got an iPhone X, it roughly holds roughly around about 2,700, 2,800 milliamps. So basically, that means that could charge nearly up four times using this if obviously you run out of battery wherever you are plug it in and bang it charges it back up and the advantage of it being solar it is you can hang it off of your bag as you're walking around or your belt or something like that or, or sit it on the dash in your car and it'll charge up uh, as it hits sunlight so that sounds like it's a bonus so it doesn't actually cost you anything to charge your phone up you could say using this so that's pretty good comes with a five year warranty so that's always good on Sandberg products as it says roughly for ch uh, charge your phone up four times obviously some phones have more battery power than others so it will vary it's got USB type C uh, PD is 18 watts uh, quick charge 3.0 the solar panel has made it in the USA and it's double quality checked. Let's have a look at the rest of the box, not much on the side, not much on the bottom, not much on that side. And on the back you've got all your different languages uh, and you've also got your contents and specifications down there as well. Okay, so this is what you've got in the box. You've got the manual here, uh, which is in colour. And it shows you how to connect all your different devices up to it and how you can charge it. Um, tells you about the power button and all the different bits which I'll show you in a few minutes. So that's always good. And again it tells you about the 5 year warranty on the back. It only comes with one cable and that's a USB micro which you would plug into the device and standard USB type A on the other end. So you can plug it into a let's say a laptop or a wall socket or something like that where you've got power um, to charge it back up for for example if you hadn't got solar uh, pa uh, sorry if the sun wasn't out um, you'd be able to charge it up using the traditional way through a PC or whatever so let's have a look so on the front this is where the solar panels are you can actually just about make them out so that it seems to be five on each side so one there 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 and then another five there and just see the lines between each of the panels not sure if that is totally clear on the camera or not um, you can probably just about see it there um, but in basics that's where your solar panels are and as you can see there's a green light on it that basically means it's getting charged so our studio lights because I've got quite a few studio lights in here we've got total uh, around about eight different lights in here uh, they are actually charging it up at the moment. So probably not the same as direct sunlight, but it is actually charging. So that green light's on. Um, so that's pretty good. But what you'll find is if I was to cover the solar panels up, that green light, you wouldn't actually be able to see it because it's not getting a charge. So you can see when it's getting a charge. So that's pretty good. The bottom, there's nothing. This side, there's nothing. On this side, there is one item. That's your power button. That tells you how much charge. It's hard to see when it's off, but there's four little dots up there which tells you how much charge it is. Um, one dot means 25% charge, two means 50, three means 75, and obviously four means 100% charge. The back of the device just has the model numbers and everything on there. Tells you about uh, uh, the solar panel and everything like that as well. Uh, you do have a nice hangy here, so like a so you can attach that to a belt or a bag or whatever you wish, um, which is pretty good. So obviously it can charge up while you're out and about. Um, the connections on it are all on one side, so they're all easy to get to. You've got two USB ports there, so that's standard USB ports. So if you've got like a lightning cable or a normal phone charger cable, you can plug them into there. You've also got your micro USB, that's where you'd plug your charger in. 
and you've also got a USB type C connection as well so that's the new USB type C connection according to the product you can basically charge any device um, which takes these using all three of these connections at once so the standard USB A's and USB C so you could charge your phone through that one but that one that one but not that one or it doesn't mention that one I'm guessing that is an input only which means will only charge the battery on there so um, you can't use that for anything else or at least it doesn't mention in the manual or any information I can see one thing I would have thought would have been nice was actually if they included a cable which was USB-C type to charge it because you can actually charge this through the USB-C and a USB-C type cable is generally a lot faster at charging things up than an old fashioned USB uh, micro cable uh, but saying that still it comes with a cable to charge it um, but obviously as I said you will need cables for your phone, tablet or whatever other device you're using to charge up with so for example if I want to charge my iPhone I get the cable plug it into one of the USB and then get the other end of my iPhone cable so it's a lightning lead and then you plug that into your phone and bingo it's charging simple as that it also comes on on here and tells you how much battery charge is left on it while it is plugged in so that is pretty good only thing I would have liked to see with it would be some form of little bag like you get with anchor charging products and stuff like that that way you can actually keep it nice and safe and so forth if you wanted to pack it away in your rucksack or your pocket or anything like that but obviously that is optional um, let's have a look what sort of battery charge is getting Okay, so you can see on here, um, let's turn the sound down so we don't get that clicking every five seconds. Um, you can see here, this is currently charging my phone up at roughly 1000, up to about 1400 milliamps. So that's pretty good. So that is a fast charge and it's charging pretty quick. And according to this, this is a supercharger, so which is 1000 milliamps and above. So that is a fast charger. If I was to plug this into my laptop as you can see as soon as I've unplugged it you can see the battery is now going down but if I, as soon as I plug it into my laptop my laptop is getting roughly 1500 at the most which again is pretty good but that just shows you that a high speed USB 3 port on my laptop is providing just as much power near enough as this devices here and obviously with it being an urban solar power bank I'm hoping it'll be quite sturdy with it being more of a metal and so forth it sh hopefully shouldn't break easily